All right, so now we've built our playlist. The next step, we need to send this to the player for playback. So the first thing I want to do is to actually save my playlist. And I want to make sure that I save it in the Sets folder under Media Zone Editor Pro, which is, should be under My Documents. So I've already saved it once. We're going to call it Training. We're going to just save over the top. So we now have a playlist, and it tells me up above that it's called Training. So my next step, I need to go to the Share tab. And if this is the first time you sent to the player, we need to set it up so that we know where to send. So under Players, I'm going to Add. I can give it a name. I could call it Lobby. Maybe the third floor. Maybe it's Channel 16. In this case, we're going to call it Don's Cube. And I'm going to put in the IP address. At this point, I can actually verify that, yes, the player's out there. It's turned on. It's waiting to receive the information. So there's Don's Cube. So we're done with the Manage Players tab. Now, again, under Share, we're going to go to the Send. I'm going to select Don's Cube. We are going to choose a default playlist. In this case, we're going to utilize Training. We want that to be the default. And if we looked, there is no start date or end date or time associated with Training Set. What we're saying here is we want that to run all the time unless I interrupt it. And even though there's no start date or end date or time associated with this set, the pages that we scheduled in the playlist down below, the green, the red, the ones that are in black, they will appear and disappear based on the date, based on the time, just like we scheduled them. If I go to Next, I'm ready to send. And normally I'm going to use this option, Send All Files, Compare Dates, and only overwrite the older files. What we're saying there, it's really a smart upload. If I've been running 25 pages the last two, three weeks, I've, uh, and I've added three new pages for this week, it's basically going to send over just those three pages. No need to resend the 25 that are already there. It'll send over the three, but it will also make sure that if one of those 25 has been updated, it would send over the update. So my next step is to come in and actually send. We can see it talking to the player. Everything's been uploaded, and it tells me that it is complete. We have finished the upload to that player. While you are sending to that player, the player will continue to play back whatever was sent yesterday or two weeks ago, whatever the current is, it will continue to play back while I'm sending. Once it tells me that it's finished, if you were able to look up and see the screen, you will see it go to black for maybe three or four seconds while it loads the new information and now it's playing back. And that's the process to go from the creation of the playlist to actually sending the playlist to the player. Now if we were to go through and make a change to our playlist, adding new pages, things like that. Anytime I make a change, all I need to do, come in, save the changes, go back into my send, select it, and because it's still the same default, I can actually just go to finish and hit the send, and it's going to update and send over those three new pages I just added. And that's the process.